morning students so we'll go ahead with our video on chapter 4 that is fractions and we will start with exercise 4.1 now children i hope you all remember yesterday's activity which we did on equivalent fractions okay now what is equivalent fractions i explained you all well through the activity and i have requested you all to do that activity again neatly on your own and then paste the same in your copy notebook and send a picture of it through an email to me okay i'm still waiting few i have received but many still i have to receive so please children um uh, get set go and get serious also about the activity you have to send it to me now let's go with exercise 4.1 and watch my video on exercise 4.1 okay so i'll just share the screen with you all
So here I will stop it by video. I hope that I understood. I am going to say. So I hope children, y'all have understood this particular topic that is equivalence fraction. At the same time, I would like to share another we my video that is on ordering and comparing the fractions. Okay, but after comparing the, I should say it the other way, comparing and ordering of fractions, like the normal numbers. When I have the whole numbers with me. Um, say 16, 18, 20, maybe 2,058, 1,90,658. And when we all first compare them and then we put them in a specific order, that is ascending order and descending order. I hope you remember the term that we use for ascending order AO and for descending order DO. And same concept has to be applied while ordering the fractions. But yes, here when I talk about fractions, I just don't have a whole number. I have part of a whole number. Okay, like I explained you in yesterday's live session, I have part of whole number. But this part also doesn't get completed if I don't have either of one. The numerator and the denominator both has to be there. Or I do something. Whether I add something to it, whether I subtract something from it, whether I multiply something to it, whether I divide something to it, I do it to both. That is the numerator and the denominator. Like you saw now in equivalent fraction, when I was multiplying, I was multiplying both the numerator and denominator. When I was dividing, I was dividing both the numerator and the denominator. Because numerator and denominator make a fraction. Banate. Wo denominator is a different number and numerator is a different number. Hai. It's not like that. Numerator and denominator, they come together and they make a fraction. Okay, so I hope you remember that. And let's go ahead and see my next video here. That is comparing and ordering of fractions. One second, children, just a moment. Just a moment. बस चले तो ले भी जाऊंगा वर्क फ्रॉम होम में बिगड़ गया तू मेरों को आराम की आदत पड़ चुकी है चलेगा गाड़ी का बाटा जा और अपने ले
and it will really help you or help a lot. Okay, comparing like fractions may suppose I am given a box here making four and here I'm being very uh, specific like with the word like. Okay, why I'm saying like.
फिक्स नंबर बॉक्स साइज सेम है बॉक्स साइज सेम है आपका चॉकलेट साइज सेम है यहां पर आई एम टेकिंग 1 बाय 4 पीस एंड वी आर ग्राफ टेकिंग 1 बाय 6 ऑब्वियसली बाय लुकिंग एट इट यू नो दिस यहां पर सेम साइज ऑफ बॉक्स का हमने सिक्स पीसेस लिया यहां पर सेम साइज ऑफ बॉक्स का फोर पीसेस लिया तो ऑब्वियसली ये बड़ा होगा और ये छोटा होगा अब हर बार तो आप डायगोनल बना के यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू द चेक सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू डू द चेक ऑब्वियसली फ्रैक्शंस आर अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस बिकॉज़ द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर डिफरेंट द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर different they are not same okay the denominators are different now here when this kind of situation arises if you look the numerators push will be common the dono ke beech mein that is the numerators are same 1 by 4 and 1 by 6 we compare the numerators the numerators are equal but the denominators are not equal so how do we do the comparison When the denominator is smaller, the fraction. When the denominator is smaller, the fraction is bigger. When the denominator is smaller, the fraction. Mera video pause karke likhenge. Fraction is bigger. Okay, so that means. One by four is bigger than one by six. One by four is bigger than one by six. Which we know that, or explain me, ho kya? The denominators are different. They are unlike fractions. And when you do the comparison between the numerators, they are the same. And thus, the comparison will take between the two different denominators. But when the denominator is smaller, the fraction is When the numerators are same, numerators same. I will give you an example. Right? If it is a little late, it will be two days. When the numerators are same, we compare the denominators. The smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. You have to understand and go through this particular concept. When the numerators same, the denominators are compared. and when the denominator is smaller the fraction is bigger and that is well justified in the picture also okay so just pause your video there and whatever is written this is your class notes but copy notes also i will fair notes bhi main bhejti rahungi dheere dheere par ye bhi copy karte rehna hai repetition rahega to rahega no issues at all okay so you have to remember this part and i hope i am clear one more example i'll give one more example here let's say i am talking about 5 7 5 9 5 6 mark abhi ye line par the lowest form mein hai form se aur is line par bhi difference hai first and number one when you check the numerator as Means they are unlike fractions. Numerators are same, denominators are not same. That means they are unlike fractions. So no point to go there. They are in the reduced form. They are unlike fractions. So now how can I do the comparison between them? That is, I will compare the denominators. Seven is smaller than nine. Nine is smaller than twenty. But in terms of fractions, it comes seven times and two by seven is bigger than two by nine. Two by nine is bigger than two by twenty-one because as the denominators both are increasing, the fraction becomes smaller. Okay, so just pause the video here for a minute, copy it down, and I will move ahead with the exercise tomorrow. that reminds me exercise 4.2 you have to do it in
children with this we end the two concepts that is uh, equivalent fractions and comparing and ordering of the fractions okay now right now i have explained you all about ordering of fractions of like fractions and unlike fractions we are left out with one more type of fractions that is mixed fraction or what we called as mixed number or mixed numeral i hope you all have not forgotten my last video where i explained about these three fractions very clearly that is proper or like fractions improper or unlike fractions and mixed number or mixed fraction so we still have to see how i'm going to do the ordering of mixed fractions and there are a lot of concepts which will be added with it um so children please go ahead with the exercise i will be sending you all the notes and what all is your homework for sunday tomorrow and the pdf of the solved few solved questions from the textbook so with this i'm stopping my video children um have a good weekend but at the same time you have to study and complete your work okay so have a great day and goodbye